This video will show you how to import Twine Stories into the dialog system for Unity. It assumes some familiarity with the dialog system, so if you haven't used the dialog system yet, I recommend at least going through the quick start tutorial. Documentation is available in the dialog system manual under Import and Export Twine. It covers the dialog system's Twine import window as well as format requirements for your Twine Stories. To get started, add the Twice on Story format to Twine. There's a link in the Dialog Systems Manual. Now we're going to open a simple Twine story. In this story, I've added some text that's specific to the Dialog System. For example, this passage has a sequence block in its text. This sequence will be imported into the Dialog System as the Dialog Entry Node's Sequence field. This passage specifies a speaker named Narrator, has Twine formatting, and also has a script block that will be imported into a dialog entry node's script field. And this passage has an example of setting a Twine variable. The link in this passage is wrapped in parentheses, which makes it a direct link instead of showing it in a response menu. Twine macros should use the Harlow story format. This is what it looks like when you play it in Twine. When you switch to twice on format and press play, it will generate JSON text. Save this as a JSON text file. Then go into Unity. I've already set up a scene and a dialog database. This dialog database has three actors in it. Next, select Tools, Pixel Crushers, Dialog System, Import, Twine 2. The first time you do this, it will ask you to enable Twine support. Click Enable, then select the menu item again once it's recompiled. Add your Twine JSON files to the JSON files list. Each Twine story will correspond to a conversation in your dialog database. For each one, you can set the primary actor and conversant. Specify the database that it should import into, then click the Import button. Now if we look at the conversation, we'll see that it looks similar to our Twine story. I prefer a vertical format, so I'm going to auto-arrange it vertically. We can see that the passages sequence block was imported, as well as twine formatting codes. Script and condition blocks in your passage are imported as is, and twine set and if macros are translated into Lua for the dialog system. We can see here where this node's script section comes from the passages set macro. If you reference Twine variables in your passage text, they will also be referenced as dialog system variables in your dialog database. And if we play the scene, this is what it looks like. The details of the special blocks that you can put into your passage text are covered in the Twine Imports section of the Dialog Systems Manual.
And that's all it takes to import Twine into the dialog system. If there are any Twine features that you need imported into the dialog system that aren't already handled, please let me know through the forum link in this video's description. I'll do my best to add them. Thanks for watching.